Bachelor Nation's Demi Burnett is looking for love on the celebrity dating game. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. Another Bachelor Nation alum is joining Celebrity Dating Game and we have all the details. But before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Vanna Zaring, joined by the lovely Mariah Davis. Mariah, this is some fun news. I'm very excited about this. Let's just dive right in. Demi Burnett is going to be looking for love on our TVs once again on ABC's The Celebrity Dating Game. Now, I know we've talked about this before, but if you're not familiar with the original series, here's how Celebrity Dating Game is going to work. The celebrities seeking love will chat with three potential dates just like the suitors were in the original. They won't get to see who their potential love matches are. There's just going to be a extended, you know, Q&A session to see who they think they might be compatible with. Uh, a fun new spin on the new show is that Michael Bolton and Zoe Deschanel will be hosting and Michael is going to be singing parodies of his well-known hits that are going to reveal clues about the celebrity to their potential suitor. So imagine you're sitting on a stage, you have a chance to date a celebrity, Michael Bolton is singing you clues about said celebrity. Lots to unpack, sounds very fun. Uh, are you into the format, Mariah? And do you think you'll tune in? I do think I'll tune in. I think it's interesting, the concept. I never watched the original. I think the original tried to make a comeback in the 90s. Uh, never watched that either, but I'm excited. And especially <laughs> with the certain people that they have involved with it, I think it's going to be really fun, lighthearted. We were talking earlier. I think it's going to be a little bit more silly rather than serious, like really getting the hard-hitting questions out there. But I do wonder, so if nobody knows who who they're talking to during the Q&A, um, especially because we're having Demi on there and we know she is bi, how is she going to know? Is it going to be, are you going to be able to hear people's voices? Because that's going to be a giveaway. Okay, this is a man or this is a woman. I, there's just a lot. There's a lot to figure out. So I'm excited to tune in. I'm interested to see how they're going to make everything happen. Yeah, I definitely love the mystery element of the show. I think it's going to be very fun. We don't know too much about what Demi's, you know, turn on the show is going to look like, but we have some details. She's going to have three potential suitors. It will be a mix of male and female contestants. It says they're going to have at least one of each. So out of three, you're going to have two men, okay. a woman, two women, a man. We don't know those details yet. Uh, she, of course, previously made history on Bachelor in Paradise when she got engaged to her girlfriend at the time on the show. Obviously, she's since moved on from that relationship, but it was a big moment for Bachelor Nation, big moment for the franchise overall. Honestly, I love to see this. I love to see her on the show. Of course, it isn't The Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise. You know, it's not the franchise we know her from, but it is in the ABC family, and I think it's great to see ABC taking steps with this kind of programming to make it more inclusive. I totally agree. I mean, obviously the original show back in 1965 to 1973 didn't showcase the same inclusivity. So it really highlights the progress that modern television has made. I love that shows are giving storylines for more people to identify with. And I also just love Demi Burnett. So I'm even more excited for the show with her on it because she is wild. She's hilarious. I loved her on The Bachelor. I loved her in Bachelor in Paradise. So I'm excited to see her grace my television screen yet again. Yes, she is definitely one that we talk a lot about in Bachelor Nation. She's a fan favorite. We've seen her pop up on shows, you know, from time to time. She's totally great. And I definitely agree with you. I think her personality could be wonderful for something like this. What's interesting is just this week, Australia announced that their Bachelor franchise is going to be having their first ever bi Bachelorette. She's going to be leading the season with a mix of male and female contestants. Something that fans have been talking about and hoping for, you know, a lot here in the U.S. Now we're seeing this kind of, you know, concept on a different ABC show. But I'm curious if you think, you know, with this happening in Australia, with this happening in the ABC family, do we think 
this type of bachelor bachelorette season could happen soon enough. It's definitely a possibility. I mean, with the progress that Bachelor Nation has been promised uh, from the top of the food chain, I would think it's a very real possibility. Australia is obviously setting a great example and hopefully the American franchise will follow soon after because again, people love and value inclusivity and having people in storylines that they themselves can identify with. Absolutely, Mariah. Couldn't have said it better myself. And you guys, if you haven't heard the details of The Bachelor at Australia News, it's very exciting. We covered it here on our channel. There will be a link to that video in the description. Make sure you go ahead and check that one out as well. Uh, getting back to Celebrity Dating Game, we do know that another Bachelor Nation alum is going to be on the show. Previously announced that Hannah Brown will be looking for love on the show. Now, we talked about this when the news broke as well because it was very confusing to a lot of fans. Uh, she's very publicly in a happy relationship right now. So, of course, at the time, there was speculation that, you know, oh, did her and her boyfriend break up? Well, wait a minute, when did they film this? Is it possible she actually met her current boyfriend on the show? Anything goes. I have famously gotten down in a windmill. Where is the weirdest place you've ever been intimate? Also a windmill. <laughs> Uh, it could be a little awkward if what happened was she filmed this, met someone, didn't really work out. Now she's got a boyfriend and it's going to be airing and they're going to have to kind of relive that. Uh, but there's a lot of possibilities here. I think it's going to be really interesting. Obviously, we talked about this show has kind of a silly, lighthearted feel, right? Not as serious about finding the one as The Bachelor. But do you think it's possible Hannah Brown may have found like a really strong relationship out of this show? I mean, how do you think this is going to play out, Mariah? Well, I think the least likely of all of those scenarios is that they've broken up. It's very obvious they're still together. They're on each other's Instagrams. They have a YouTube channel. They do like my boyfriend does my makeup, a Q&A. Uh, so I think obviously they're still together. They are thriving. They're very happy. And let me tell you, I could not be happier because Hannah Brown, of all people, is owed a long-lasting love. Like, she is very worthy of a good relationship, so I'm glad she's found it. I would love for the case to be that she met him on the show, because it's going to be interesting to watch unfold. And then knowing what we know now, they're very happy together. They have this very cute relationship. Um, and I think it's just going to make people more interested to tune into the show, because it shows progress. Okay, something really did happen from the makings of this show. Uh, but there is also the case that maybe she did start something with somebody on this show and it's going to be awkward watching it back because she's no longer <laughs> with him and she's in this great and thriving relationship. But I, for one, I'm just going to go ahead and manifest the fact that she met her boyfriend on the show and as a result of it, they have this thriving and beautiful relationship. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens with Hannah Brown. I am absolutely with you. I would love to see her find love on this show. It's going to be really interesting because her episode is either going to add a lot of credibility, like, look, this format can work. She's so happy. She's in love still. Or it's definitely going to be something that we all laugh about, like, look how silly this was. Clearly, her real relationship is so much better. Who knows? Only time will tell. What I think is interesting is now here's obviously two Bachelor Nation fan favorites going on Celebrity Dating Game. It is the same network. We know that there are so many people in Bachelor Nation that fans to this day are rooting to still, you know, be on their journey to find love. Do we think we're going to see this kind of ongoing? People from the franchise hop over to this show, give it a whirl, see if this format works for them. Or is this kind of a coincidence? What do you think? I'm kind of hoping it's more of a coincidence. It's not going to be a regular thing. Just because I think it's important to have the separate shows. If you start having, if we always can expect that there's going to be people from Bachelor Nation come on the show, then it almost becomes an extension of the Bachelor franchise. And I don't want that sure. for this show because I think it's a really fun idea. And as much as I have my Bachelor favorites that I, I'm, personally in love with and I would love to see them on the show and find love I don't really want it to be a regular thing because again I don't want it to be like a spin-off or an extension of the bachelor mm -hmm. franchise so I'm happy with Demi I'm happy with Hannah because I personally really like them and in the future of course like maybe ever so often we have a huge like bachelor alum name join but I definitely don't want to see it a regular thing because I think that could potentially hurt the show 
You know what, that's a great point. And we know that there is the potential that just ABC did upfronts and we learned that there's potentially a lot of fun Bachelor spinoffs in the works, maybe coming to Hulu. So lots of things are exciting and in store for Bachelor Nation. And this show clearly seems like it's gonna be off to a very fun start. You guys, that's everything we know about Demi's episode and the show itself for now. We, of course, want to know your thoughts. Are you excited for this? Do you think you'll be tuning in? Let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Mariah Davis. If you want to come say hi, our social handles are on the screen right now. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Bye.